Ziggity Zig Darkness Way at a Silver Game number 35. This is between myself and a Zerg player. It's another PvZ, Mr. Ben Laden. Ugh. Why don't I look at these names before I get into these games? Anyway, Mr. Ben Laden. As you can see, it's a 20 minute game. So it's going to be a little longer than normal. But you can already tell that from how long the replay is. Or how long this video is. Not the replay. The replay is because the minutes are different. I mean, I've only been talking and blathering for about 12 seconds, but there we go. We're already 43 seconds into the game. Look at how fast those seconds go. Booyah! Cheer! Cheer! Anyway, this is over on Taldari Malta versus a Zerg. So what do I decide to do? Oh my god. I think. I think I might be doing some sort of forward fast. Exp I might. Oh man! I've been taught that on, well, at least on, in the very first Apollo um, tutorial, <clears throat> sorry, for Protoss, he did say, up against Zerg, just kind of, do, you know, do your standard thing. However, if you're up on, against Pro, or if you're up against Zerg, sorry, on Taldarim Altar, that is when you forge FE. So I go, all right, do I know how to forge FE? No. No, I don't. All I know is that when I get 150 minerals, I'm going to throw down, what do we get? It is going to be a forge. Look at that nonsense right there. In meantime, we've got what appears to be... Mm, that's That could have been a 9 pool or a 12 pool. I don't know what's going on. But I eventually do find him. Because here's my probe is doing the search around. And I am going to get up here to find Mr. Ben Laden. I'm going to call him... I'm definitely calling, calling him him. Because look, there's a Mr. and a Ben. Uh, what more do you want? Gas and an early pool. Not quite sure what we're approaching here, but uh, does see me, does find me, does know approximately what is going on, and now is the time when I throw down a cannon. Now you tell me if this is wrong or not, but this seems to be the best defense I can come up with. So there he goes, and now he's got six lings. Where are these headed? Are they headed straight for me? Is he doing something different? I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, because, look, here's a, an interesting stream of six sixlings and a probe, and the probe is saying, Yeah, let's let's go get him, guys! I'm totally a zergling! Look at me! I, <laughs> yeah, I fit in with all of you! Check me out! Let's go kill stuff! Woohoo! Meanwhile, he's seeing sort of the rest of this, and there's the first cannon. I'm getting a second cannon for whatever reason, so this is kind of just a forge crappy... Three? Three cannons? You serious? So this is when... <laughs> There's a heck of a non SC2 mistake trying to say something to me. I'm not going to respond because I'm talking. Six links. They could run right past this and finish me off. There's, I mean, it's it's a really huge map for doing things like that, but what I didn't do is get enough units some other places. And, uh, yeah, I, sh I should have had a pylon back at my base just in case he got past. Here's this drone still sitting here not doing anything, so look at all the crap I'm doing. I've got three. I think I was preparing myself for the rush, just based on the fact that there was a lot of... I, I did see six circlings. I knew they were coming. So I just tried to make an extra... Cannon? Let's say... Let's say yes. Let's say that's what I did. Finally! Finally a gateway on the way. And here comes the gateway aimed over here. So really, 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 really slow. Got enough for the expand. Am I going to expand... Hey oh, there we go, five minutes in. So that's a forge slow expand is what I'm gonna call this one. Forge three cannon uh <laughs> nine pool zergling test and sort of a total crap out by Ben Laden there. And my average sixteen ABM APM sweltering, sweltering speeds of APM right there. Here is the this gateway is done. Probably about ready to start thinking about maybe a cybercore. You thinking about a cybercore yet? I'm thinking about a cybercore. I think we should. What sometimes happens up against Zerg is he comes up and hides up here in the third base. But meanwhile, it's just a drone sitting over here hiding out over here. So there you go. That's what we learned. Now, this next is. So I do have two bases on the way. Mr. Ben Laden has just finished this base, so he's only got two queens on the way. I think he's got. Does he have one? Yeah, just one queen right now. No creep spread to say at the moment. However, Zergling Speed is on its way up. The second Nexus is just about done. I'm probably about ready to split my probes, but it doesn't appear like I'm going to do that. 
there's a cyber core. I'm managing to stay ahead of my supply blocking this time. There's a bit of a split. And at this point, let's have a look at the income. 23 harvesters over 20. Hoorah. So I'm doing a little bit better there, except for this little idle probe sitting right there. Now, uh, still working on the production. Still working on macro. This will pretty much hold off most of what he's got until he starts bringing the roach ball, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a roach thing. I mean, he's going for speed and lair. So what's the lair going to lead to? This much gas that he's not quite getting right now. This much gas, two base. Uh, I'm going to say going for hive? Oh, no. Probably going for mutas or infestors is usually what you see at these leaks. Sh should I remember? Probably. Do I remember? No. Here's this overlord coming in for another look, because since <laughs> this, this little guy could have made a proxy hatch really, really easily. And you know what a proxy hatch could have done at this point? Gotten right past this. Static defense. I should be toast. I should be toast four or five times by now, but the fact is that my sweltering 18 EPM, and there goes the spire, is just not quite, it's, it's somehow holding this game, I can't even imagine how, let's have a look at the army supply, I am actually over in both army and, and, worker supply, so we'll take a look and see what I what I can see. I have not spotted, look at that, I am all in, in the dark down here. It's all sorts of badness and nonsense down at this side of things. However, I am getting an immortal out, so that's good. I'm actually starting to get a few more units. When am I going to re-rally this? Oh dear, that's not good. And I should probably still be working on macro and economy, but I'm not. I'm deciding instead to get some more pylons, because I think I'm probably pylon blocked. Have I changed where this robotics facility is going? No, I have not. So we'll see what happens when the robotics facility eventually comes out. Uh, warp gate is complete. Got another gateway on the way. That's... Oh no. Warp gate is not complete. Where the hell is it? There it is. Cool. I see an expansion. Hoorah! Do I see anything in the expansion? Let's have a look. I spot... There's an Evo Chamber. No big deal. I can deal with an Evo Chamber. That's fine. Getting Gleal Reconstruction. That's cool. Uh, I go and check for a third. If you have a peek down in the minimap mini there, that's all that's going on. Oh, I finally do remember to reroute my robotics facility. I've got so much money, it's ridiculous. I'm not sure what I'm doing at the moment. I'm getting another three gateways. Trying to get some more probes down. Still having a look. All I see is E6. That's probably still an Evo Chamber. There's another Evo Chamber over there, so he's got two Evo Chambers. Oh, Infestation Pit. Maybe that's what that is. So Infestation Pit and Spire. Spire's done, by the way. Spire is totally done, and there's flyer attacks. I think... Yeah, 27 larva at the moment. So he's just gathering larva like a mad crazy boss. Which, you know, that's 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 good, that's fair enough. Aha, there it is. It is the Nidus Network, which I still do not see. 28 Zerglings on the way. This is the Nidus right there. I see a Spire, I see an Infestation Pit, I see a Roach Warren. For some reason I do not click on this to find out what that is. And that's the bad sign. Meanwhile, here we go. So I finally find this. But I don't do anything... Oh, come on! Nothing. I don't take that out. That's embarrassing. Here's another pylon around there, so I'm just leaving my roach... Or my... My roach. My observer just here in the base. Not really doing all that much about it. Whipping up to a blistering 23 EPM. Getting an expansion, a third base on the way. Which is highly intriguing. There I see the blip. There I see it. There it is. And what's happening here? I do spot that on the on the minimap. Excellent. So look at that. I'm way ahead in army supply and on worker supply. Just sort of slowly expanding, trying to keep ahead of these ahead of these units. I'm getting some more immortals out. More immortals. That's just a funny thing to say. 33 APM, but the EPM is telling a different story. He's doubling mine, however. 
And there goes the robotics bay. In the worst spot possible. Do you think I can get around that? No. No, I do not eventually get around that. My next expansion over there, since we are overdrawn there. We don't have a gas at this one, so this is just bad. I should be doing quite a lot better. My worker supply, so the income is just ridiculous in my favor. My opponent is having a tough time. He's uh, heavier on the gas than myself, however. This is when I have to fight my way out by destroying most of my cannons. So all of these cannons that I wasted money on right at the beginning, I eventually get rid of. And there we are. So the army supplies now, yeah, it's actually pretty even. So I have a f way, 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 way more minerals, mostly because I'm floating almost 2k, which is ridiculous. Get another observer just because I'm up against Zergo, so I want to be able to spot some creep tumors as they come through. Having another peek through, this hotkeying this observer on 3 is such an awesome idea. I'm glad I now do that. Uh, I'm not entirely certain why I'm coming all the way back here, but, you know, don't question it. He's either heading back in this direction. So there is a forge and a twilight council, mostly because I decide that I start needing a few upgrades. Because you know what? My opponent is working on level 2 upgrades, and I'm still just barely at plus 1. That's the state of the matter at the moment. I'm still getting a fair amount of probes. However, I think what I did is... Nope, I kept rallying my probes over here. So this is going to be done pretty quick. Oh, actually, look at that. I'm pretty well saturated, and I think I moved enough over to the new base. Are they are they headed this way? Here they come. Here they come in the mini-map. Look at that. There's a good number of them on their way over here. Hurrah! Double gas on all three bases. Total supply block while I try to chrono boost out. Oh, I got charge. Interesting. I don't remember doing that. Two pylons on the way at the moment now, so it's 1612. I'm at approximately a 134 army on three base. I'm pretty excited about the three base. I was scouting quite well for a minute there, but I think then I started to get a little bit nervous about these uh, weird attacks and these Nidus canals and whatnot. Overseers, how many? He's still got 33 larvae, 16 roaches, just not a whole lot of units really what's what's this infester pathogen glands two and one i'm now at a 159 over 74 army and i really should be getting quite a lot more zealots in because zealot charge will be just about done soon and i have a ridiculous amount of money how many warp gates do i have there's one mm. Okay, don't tell me I just have one. I am on still six gate after three. This is when, yeah, I should definitely have about three or four more up here. So looking at that money, just trying to keep an eye on the money that I've got right now. Now I'm just trying to get out some Colossus, and I think I've put down a second robotics bay. I may be wrong on that fact. Uh, I eventually send out yet another scout just to keep an eye on things and see what we got. So trying to get a few more stock. I'm on four... Four sentries at the moment. Very stalker heavy. There there are a few more units there and another and another Colossus. Zero pylons on the way at the atrocious um, supply block, which I appear to choose to deal with the supply block by running my units into things and killing a bunch of them off. That's the plan. Sort of. So I bring one observer around behind to see if there's a third expansion. Still does not seem to be much of a third expansion. Moving up to Hive, it seems. Go right through the middle, I do. Get picked off by the Spore Crawler any second now. Nope, I managed to get out of the way of that. There's that Nidus Canal once more. Oh, there's some Creep call Tumors going down. So, aha, this is when I notice, aha, there is Creep down here. So you know what my plan is? Don't go in the front door. Go around the back. So I get around this way, of course that sort of tips him off to be aware of my presence. Swing down here and look at this army and look at that choke point. I don't know what he thinks is going to happen there, but I try to move down and get some force fields up there. Let's just slow this down for just one second. I get one force field off, two force fields off. He has to come in around there, squeeze that out so it makes it a much more manageable army. That was actually me trying very hard to do that. 
I stay over here. I probably could have used, moved my units um, into a much better position back here. But let's face it, that just obliterated the main force of Mr. Ben Laden's army. Looking over here again at the EPM, his has dropped down to 39. Oh, it's quivering, it's quivering and getting still. That's not good. So now I'm still trying to get these Colossus to follow my units down. I'm just not caring at this moment, I'm just trying to pick these off. Now the trick here is to try to destroy the support crawler without letting them kill off my Colossus. So I try to move in as best I can without getting too close with the Colossus. No, oh, oh, not too close, not too close. There we go. So, next, we just gotta move up and take out base number two. Come on up. Come on up, y'all. Let's go, peeps. Hurry and EPM, look at me, I'm in the 104, 90. Not really worrying too much about force fields at this point, just because he's done. I mean, done like dinner. There is virtually nothing he can do right now. 11 roaches is just not going to cut it. And for that matter, he's got 25 larvae still. Look at all that gas. I'm bringing in a couple more of these units, a couple more stalkers, and this was just to polish them off. I did leave him too long. I did have 6,000 minerals. I was not making enough gateways. I should have had a lot more gateways. I had, should have had two robos pulling stuff out. should have had a lot more charge lots. I should have had 200. I was not quite at 200 yet. Slightly slow, but up against a 40 EPM or I'm kind of proud of that. And the other thing is, this guy was in gold. This was a gold league Zerg player. This wasn't a random. This was a Zerg player. I don't think this is what he scouted. That's it. Not even though I had a third. I mean, yes, I should have continued to scout, and I should have kept on so I could have moved in on that third base when it happened. Let's find out when it did happen. Definitely not at 12 minutes, I don't think. Maybe. Unless, no, that's just a couple more of those. 14? Oh! Something's on its way down. That's the entire army. Comes down to check. Make sure there's nothing there. So yeah, I'm not aware of this. So I should have been more aware of that. Having said that, I... I'd like to say I outplayed him, but I just don't think he was playing all that well. But there you go. Ended up with a... An, it was a long-ish game. I was pretty proud of my mid-game here, but I should have been spending more minerals, so spend, spend, spend. That's all I gotta do. Leave me a comment down below. Send me an email, ziggyzig at gmail.com, or you can follow me on Twitter, at ziggystarcraft. That was the Wasp number 35. Stay tuned.